Hey guys, it's David McNichol here with another Boss tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at a dust and scratches effect in After Effects and maybe digging a little bit deeper than uh, some of the tutorials out there. We're going to also be adding some flicker and some random movement to our footage to simulate it going through the projector. So let's uh, have a look at the, the final effect. Uh, here we have it on just black and white footage um, and then some colored footage and then here is our raw footage. Just before we uh, get into it, um, if you wanted to download the footage and uh, project file, just jump onto my blog. The link is in the description and we could just Google search Boss Studios blog. You'll be able to find the footage and project file. Okay, so uh, let's begin. We have the footage already in uh, the composition and I'm going to add a new adjustment layer to that. Going to add a tint, some curves, and add grain. Now with this add grain, we want to change the viewing mode to file output so that we don't just get uh, the grain in this little square here. This goes over the whole thing. Um, and then here with our curves, we want to make this uh, digital footage look a bit more film-like. Um, so we can crush these blacks here and then maybe take this, the white highlights a little bit further than uh, normal, just to kind of make it, you know, add to the whole damage to film look. Okay, so that's really about it for the adjustment layer. Again, if you were obviously doing colored uh, footage, you wouldn't be adding the tint, you'd turn that off. But I'll, uh, we'll, we'll do something with that a little later on with colored footage. But for now, we'll just stick with the black and white. Now we want to add a new black solid, and we'll call this one Black Spots. And to that, we'll be adding Fractal Noise. And quickly, we'll um, first of all, we, made, we need to make a few copies uh, of this fractal noise uh, layer um, with the same attributes in here. So we'll make uh, the contrast 250 and the brightness minus 140. As you can see there, we're just starting to get the little specs. Um, and we'll duplicate that three times. So control D twice and we'll rename that dust and scratches okay so um we'll turn those two off there and so we can start to see it's on the footage we'll change our transfer mode to multiply but then we have to add on invert uh, to change originally the, the little spots would have been um, would have been white but we want to make them black so just shock invert and that'll change the color of the fractal noise uh, around so we get black spots instead now as you saw the little the little specks were quite small so we can come into transform and change this up to 600 to make the spots a bit bigger. Now we can't quite see them yet. So what we'll do is we'll add in an expression. So we just have to come in to and find something down here called the evolution options, or you can just find it uh, here, same thing. So when we open up evolution options or here, we find an option called random seed. So what's gonna do is basically can't really see it now, but what it'll do is um, it'll change that noise uh, randomly. So what we're going to do here is add an expression to change the, the black spot um, randomly. So you might have a little spec here and a spec there. And then the next frame, 
instead of it just staying still, it's going to completely change. We might have a backspoke over here and then all the other ones gone. And we do that over every frame so we kind of get that. So it kind of looks like it's been played on the film through the projector. I'm sure you know what I mean. Um, so what we have to do here is add an expression. And all we have to do is, let's just zero that out again. And hold down Alt. And then click on the stopwatch and you'll bring up a, a little place where we can type in expressions. So basically what we want to do is type in time times 30. And that's it. So hopefully now we should start seeing little specks popping up and down. So it's quite subtle, but that's kind of what we want it to be like. Okay, there you go. Um, and that's really it for the black spots. So we have the black spots playing now for our dust to start playing. Basically the same thing, um, but just the difference is we don't have the invert, so we'll have the white spots instead of black spots. And then because it's going to be white spots, we can't use the multiply uh, transfer mode. We have to use add, and then we'll have the little white spots come through. Now a similar sort of thing, process um, with our evolution, alt, click on random speed, again, time times 30, and just play that back, you can start to see the little white spots, like how playing with the black ones, um, just keep our transform at 100, that's all fine, and that's basically it for the dust. Okay, so with the scratches, things are a little bit different here. Um, we'll just change this to 110. And then in our transform, I should turn that on so we can see what's going on. Uh, in our transform, we want to uncheck uniform scaling. When we want to type in scalar width to 1. And then our height is... 10,000. So you can see there we get some nice streaks. Um, and again, we'll change this to add. And then we'll do the same thing again. Jump into evolution over, up, evolution options, alt click. And this time we'll add in time 15. So basically, um, what these functions are doing. So I suppose to explain uh, kind of what's happening here um, with this this function, it's uh, I found using this, it is replacing uh, the spots of the dust and the dirt. Every frame there's a new lot of um, dust and, and spots, but if we have it at bit 15, it takes about two frames um, for the scratch to leave. So I think that's a little bit more realistic with the, um, the scratches probably are going to be over a few frames rather than just the one frame, but the dust and the, the spots are only going to be on the one frame. So I think that's kind of a nice little uh, thing to, to keep it more realistic. Um, so feel free to play around with these and, and uh, for whatever you want to, what look you, you're going for. And So with these three layers, they're probably you'll find they're a little bit too kind of overpowering. Um, so we'll probably want to take the scratches. If you press T for the opacity, you might want to take that down just so it's kind of faint. Same thing with the black spots, T down. Can't really see any black spots at the moment. So let's just try 80. It's kind of hard to see without actually playing the animation. So that looks okay. Uh, something's gone wrong with our scratches. Ah, there we go. Cycle evolution is not what we wanted. It's here. Okay. OK, 
Okay. So I might just um, leave the black spots at 100 because that's pretty faint anyway and turn down the scratches even more. Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good so far. Now we actually want to jump onto the footage itself and make it flicker a little bit from the projector and then also um, jump up and down all randomly. So if we press P for position and Shift T to also bring out the opacity, uh, again, we can put in some expressions uh, to randomize this, so we don't have to put it in by hand. Um, so with the position, we're going to use an expression called wiggle. Now, we have two variables that we can put in here. Um, first one's 25, and the second one will be 1.5. So basically, this is saying is within a second, um, I want you to kind of do something 25 times within a second. So basically on this footage, which is 25 frames per second, uh, we're saying that every frame we want you to do something. Um, so you're going to wiggle every frame. And then the second one is how much you're going to wiggle. So this is 1.5 pixels. So I found one, one pixel wasn't really enough and two was too much. Um, so 1.5. So every, every frame you're going to either jump up and down, left or right, uh, 1.5 uh, pixels at a time. So they kind of give our up and down movement of the, the film. So you can kind of see it there working now. Now we're going to use exactly the same thing in the opacity. So the second one we're going to have 25 and 5. So either it'll go down um, by 1 or 2 or 3, but a maximum of 5. So there we had a 95. So that gives us the flickering of the footage. So as you see here, with our different expressions, we're going to get some weird things happening on the outside. So either scale that up a little bit, or but I'm going to add a add in a mask, um, so we won't see that anyway. So, but if you're not going to, um, if you're going to leave it full size, like that you might want to scale the footage up a little bit. So what I have here is basically just a, a picture of what looks like a bit of old film and we'll we'll put this into our composition to add to the effect um, and kind of frame up the old film. So just pull that in, it's a bit too big, so we'll scale that down by pressing S and pulling that down. Now we'll change its transfer mode to multiply. That's going to get rid of all the white um, in the picture and that comes through. So you might kind of like this scratchy effect or um, might want to find another damaged film and put that over the top of your footage. But I'm basically going to cut, uh, cut it out. So just by making a mask. I still want to keep the outside, um, but let's show through the middle. So if you press M to bring up a mask, we go subtract, we can kind of see through it now and press F for a feather and then just, we want to soften these edges a little bit. So up the feather on the mask. And then, and then we want to, uh, Put in another black solid, and and basically uh, black out the very outside. So just in the black layer, we'll draw another mask, and then the same thing on this side. Press T for opacity. Oh, it was already up. Bring it up. And then you could just tweak. Tweak. 
tweak these to make sure we're not cutting too much off or too little, vice versa. So that's about it. Um, we've got all the different layers. You can just go through and uh, change change the layers opacity. Um, again, I think this maybe the scratches are too much, so you could change those uh, to be less um, noticeable, but kind of tweak it to your footage. Um, and then, like I said uh, earlier on, we could just um, ditch the black and white. And even just with our color footage, you can kind of uh, get an old school film look, but with colored footage. And then, uh, even if you want to be crazy, I'll have to create a new solid. I'll do, chuck this on here, it's pretty psychedelic, um, change this to overlay, it's T, capacity, bring that down, you might want to bring that underneath the film, so basically this can be used on any type of food, whether it be colour or black and white, to get your dust and scratches look. So I hope you found the tutorial useful, uh, feel free to leave any comments. Uh, or any suggestions for tutorials you'd like to see. Uh, if you'd like to download the footage or uh, the project file, jump onto the vlog and download it from there. Um, so the link should be in the, in the description, or if you're on, uh, an, on a website that's kind of embedding this and the description's not there, just Google Boss Tutors blog and you'll find it there. Okay, that's it. I'll uh, see you around.